Today's conversation is taking place with a special guest, one of the prominent legal icons as far as Africa is concerned. He is the former chairman MBA Ikeja Branch and the present chairman of SPEDA, Dr. Monde Oyekachi Urbani. Thank you, Femi. Glad to have you. Thank you, Femi, for having me. Let me say you happy birthday because you celebrated your birthday a few days ago. That's correct. So let me ask you, let's start with this. How do you feel yeah. celebrating your birthday, you know, as the only surviving child of your parents? Yeah, for me, uh, I must appreciate you once again for having me. I want to thank God uh, for life. Uh, of course, you know the country where we are living in. If you manage to... Uh, succeed in living for one extra year uh, in good health uh, with your children alive and your wife and, and your, you know even parents you know because my two parents I mean my my mother and father they are alive uh, you have every cause to be grateful to God and that's why this year I was very happy uh, I shut down the internet you know all over you know people were you know sending congratulatory messages all over you know Facebook on WhatsApp, the news was all over. Yes, you know, and even the, the hardcore newspapers also carried my, my birthday and they were good with messages. I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm the uh, surviving son and, and child of my, of my parents. My sister died and that was over 10 years ago. But she, she has children and those children, God has given me the opportunity to take care of them. Uh, so I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to also to be healthy. And I'm also happy uh, for the little contribution I'm making on national development. And then the role we are playing in order to have a country all of us should be proud of. You know. So for all these things, I am grateful to God. And I'm happy uh, that you are interviewing me even today to find out how happy I am. <laughs> so thank you uh, once again for having me. Let's go to what informed your decision to study law. Yes, uh, there were uh, some uh, factors that made it possible uh, for me to read law. I was uh, initially admitted to study political science at the University of Nigeria in Soka, 1983. Uh, I had wanted to be a politician. Uh, a flamboyant one like that, you know, because I know that uh, Dr. Namde has equated political science in university in America, so I wanted to follow suit in reading political science, then come out and be a flamboyant politician uh, with the ability to capture crowd, hold them spellbound uh, with the power of oratory. So that informed my decision. But certain things happened when I was admitted. One, I began to see the involvement of uh, the late Ganifa Omi uh, as a lawyer who was using the legal profession in order to right in the, the wrongs of the society, fighting injustice, you know, fighting for the violation of rights of the oppressed and the poor and his philanthropy. So I was moved towards that direction. And this is the kind of person I want to imitate and emulate. He became a mentor. And so as if I want to emulate him, then I have to also read the course uh, that he read, and that is law. Then secondly, uh, when present, uh, the, the, the present uh, president, Buhari overthrew Shagari's government, a lot of things happened while I was in university. I saw that people would graduate and they were not getting jobs anymore. Because when I entered university, people were coming, companies were coming to, to the university to come and pick graduates and employ them directly. They were picking graduates. But from 84, things turned around for the worse and the economy was worsening. And I said, look, if I finish from this law, I now start, I beg to apply. I wouldn't like a situation where I have to look for job and I will never get that opportunity you know more so when I'm the only son so I needed to do something that would make me uh, to actually be independent and then fulfill my life ambition now of fighting for the oppressed you know that's why I had to change to the same university uh, but the law faculty but I lost two years I went and resumed year one in 1985 mind you I was admitted in 1983 83 first year 
84, second year. I was to move to Taldy in 85. But I had to now start year one in 85 in law faculty. And so my movement towards law was informed by the main reason of Ghani, whose attitude and character informed my decision that I have to be a lawyer in order to play my own role in national life. And I'm very happy today that I took that decision because I imitated virtually what Ghani did and I will continue to improve upon it as years goes by. You know, that's, that's my ambition. Oh, I'm